Hi, everybody. We are so very happy to organize this talk session in NAS 2022. Uh, I'm very happy to set up this course with the two key opinion leaders of endoscopic fusion surgery. Uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Professor J.S. Lukim, practicing at Seoul St. Mary Hospital, the Catholic University of Korea. I have been dedicated to the MI's endoscopic spine surgery since 2006. And let me introduce my two colleagues, Don. My name is Don Young Park, and I'm from Los Angeles. I currently am an associate professor at uh, UCLA. And uh, I am also the vice chair for quality and safety for the Department of Orthopedic Surgery. Javier. Hello, my name is Javier Quillolvera. Uh, I'm currently a um, uh, uh, spinal surgeon, neurospinal surgeon, and uh, clinical neurology professor at the Anahuac University in Querétaro City, Mexico. So appreciate uh, Javier and Ton. Uh, are you ready to train a and discussion today? Yeah, I'm sure. Ready? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's dive right in. We are facing new era actually. Now is the more and more surgeons adopt uh, adopting the endoscopic surgery, not only the compression and fusion surgery in the United States and across the globe. Right? It's a very fantastic. Both of you guys, I think you are so amazing. Looks like rising star in the area of endoscopic fusion surgery. I'm so very happy to have you today. And uh, my first question for Javier, yeah. yeah. Can you briefly explain what kind of endoscope fusion available at uh, the moment? Yeah, sure. Well, Professor, uh, basically there are mm -hmm. two, two kinds of uh, spinal endoscopic fusion procedures. Mm -hmm. Both are uh, wire-based endoscopic procedures. The first one is um, the uniportal endoscopic yeah. uh, tea leaf. You mean uh, the full endoscope? Yeah, the full endoscope. So you can use a, a, a uniportal endoscopy to put the cage and deliver the cage into the intervertebral space. Uh, mm -hmm. The second one is the biportal endoscopic fusion. Uh, also, it's a water based procedure, but you are working with your two hands and you can uh, mm -hmm. reach the intervertebral space with your two hands with more comfortable and um, versatility uh, compared to uniportal endoscopy. You are working uh, in a separate channel mm -hmm. than the uniportal endoscopy. So that's the answer. Okay. Well noted. And uh, Ton, so can you explain what kind of difference, I mean, the pros and cons between the uniportal and bipolar endoscopy? Sure. The uniportal full endoscopic mm -hmm. approach it involves the uh, more extra foraminal kind of uh, approach into Camden's triangle. Yeah. Uh, and you know, there's some limitations in terms of disc height loss and uh, in, in terms of the foraminal space yeah. for yeah. the endoscope and also for uh, instrument placement and cage placement. And so there are some limitations with that. Mm -hmm. You know, there could be injury to the exiting yeah. nerve root, the DRG, uh, and uh, uh, also the size of the cage uh, would be very uh, um, right. limiting because of the the, the channel mm -hmm. that you're working with. With biportal, it's an interlaminar approach. So with the interlaminar approach, you're creating space mm -hmm. surgically to then enter into the canal and develop the uh, the same uh, 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 you know interval that you would for uh, MIS TLF or even open TLF, where you you know I identify the anatomy, the disc space, and create the uh, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, uh, the fusion uh, in you know, interbody fusion in, in the interlaminar space. So there's much more room and more I think uh, 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 flexibility in that. Yeah. That's a great point. So it looks like a similar question for you. Uh, what sort of the technology is required for better outcome? What, what do you think about that? For the, you can make the better performance as surgeons, or you can, we have to have some more better solution, technical, technology right, aspect. Mm -hmm. What kind of 
expert I think there. The thing that really I think will make uh, an endoscopic TLF successful, as well as any mm -hmm. TLF really, is I think in my mind expandable cages. Yeah. And so, um, you know, expandable cages not just in one dimension, uh, but uh, multiple dimensions. So right now there's uh, there are cages that can go uh, in, in two dimensions. So medial and lateral mm -hmm. opens up wide, get a larger footprint, and then in height. Uh, and so, you know, there's technology now where we're not just limited in terms of the narrow cage that uh, we can put into this space, um, and, and we can now create more space when we're in the disk space, yeah. but we start that uh, process in a smaller state and yeah. then expand it into a larger state. Right. I think that's a, a huge uh, technological advance. Also, surface technology, getting, you know, the, the end plates uh, of the cages to uh, fuse in-growth, on-growth uh, onto the right. cages right. is, is a, a huge advantage for immediate stability. Yeah. And then with wide surface area and bone grafting, uh, you know, specialized uh, uh, 3D printed cages, all of those things, all the technology we have now, we just have, you know, pieces of that we can then try to combine yeah, yeah. into uh, the ideal uh, implant. That is sort of the combination of the biologs and the mechanical, right, That's evolution. So, however, you are a very unique guy. You are doing the bipolar and unipolar fusion. Yeah, you are great to performance in the area of the endoscopic surgery. For now, we are rec we are talking about for audience, right? The NAS member, there are a lot of the surgeons that they are willing to learn the endoscope, the yeah. fusion as well. So, as a one of the expert, you guys, and what kind of the advice for you, for them, right? Yeah, first, uh, my advice is get involved in uh, different academic uh, uh, jobs regarding endoscopy. For example, get involved in cadaveral workshops, uh, uh, stay with an uh, expert and pass, for example, passing some uh, days or weeks with an expert learning how to perform both techniques or especially one uniportal or biportal uh, endoscopic fusion. Uh, then, uh, as uh, Don said before, you need to uh, follow the, your plan as a normal to live. You, mm -hmm. you, you need to accomplish the goals that you are planning before. So endoscopic fusion is similar to uh, any other to live, but yeah. you are using different technology to reach that goals, in this case endoscopy. But these are my advices. Okay. So uh, Don, uh, let me hear your story. You you are practicing in UCLA. Uh, how can you <laughs> learn the endosurgery and how how can how it is possible to perform the great performance in endosurgery surgery? Well, right. m my journey, I was, I was trained with minimally invasive spine yeah. surgery with tubes and microscope, and I had practiced that way for 10 mm -hmm. years. And then uh, I, I learned actually in NAS 2019 mm -hmm. with the endoscopic uh, workshop, uh, the fundamentals of uniportal and biportal ah, the, endoscopy. The NAS cast, it kind mm -hmm. of works up there. Yep. Yeah. That was the first exposure. Yeah, right. And I actually met Dr. Donghua Ha yeah. and Chon Wong Park yeah. there. Great guys. Uh, and also right. Hyun Sung Kim. Yeah. So very influential uh, endoscopy masters from Korea. And um, then, you know, pandemic hit. And so then uh, I was still interested and wanted to learn uh, endoscopy. I went to courses, eloquence courses, and, yeah. you, know, you know, really tried to learn as much as possible. And eventually went to Korea and visited, you know, uh, the masters and watched them, like uh, Javier was saying. Uh, and I just absorbed as much information as possible and, and uh, uh, learned what you can do with the technique. And what's amazing is that, you know, Dr. Ha and Dr. Park, you know, is they've really created this into a science where you yeah, learn this right. technique, yeah. you can avoid complications, you can mm -hmm. make it safe, you can make it effective and efficient. And that's where, it, it, you know, it was really impressive for me to be able to come home and start doing this on my own because I didn't feel like I was reinventing the wheel. I didn't feel like I was starting from scratch. I was just, you know, basically riding the shoulders of the of the masters who mm -hmm. really went through all of the learning and all of the the, yeah. the hard work, and <laughs> I'm just enjoying the uh, the benefit of that. 
<laughs> you truly met the Jedi Master, right? Yes. And pick up the brain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, another question for you. Uh, what's going on the endoscope fusion acceptance in, in the United States? Right? What do you think about that? Well, I, I think that there's interest for sure. Uh, it just, you know, the adopt, adoption is quite low. I mean, uh, uh, I think many uh, surgeons are still adopting MIS TLF and MIS fusion right now. Um, but as more trainees mm -hmm. get exposed and as more residents and fellows see what we can do, mm -hmm. then I think that it will rise uh, uh, in the future. But right now, it's pretty low in terms of adoption. Yeah. So we know the, we cannot highlight the importance of embryo spine care. But do you think the, the endoscopic fusion, compared to the non endoscopic MIS fusion, it's really a good solution for that? I think that's the best solution, okay. especially with the bipodal technique, because um, you know there are some uh, benefits with less cost in terms of equipment that you mm -hmm. need to uh, bring in. Usually, the equipment is already at the yeah. ambulatory yeah. surgery centers, okay. and so you're really just bringing in the the extra added equipment for the T lift part uh, and. Um, and maybe some of the spinal instruments, mm -hmm. but uh, you know the ability to do the endotelif I think is a lot uh, easier than uh, an MIS TLF in the in the ambulatory surgery center. And then there's I, I think there's uh, the added benefit of uh, you know, reduced pain after surgery, so yeah. they can go home pretty quickly after surgery. Sure. Uh, there are studies that show that you know there's short-term benefit of the endoscopic uh, TLIF as compared to MIS TLIF with less back pain. Yeah. You know, even for one week, but still, you know, uh, yeah. patients you know are more comfortable going home. Right. So, Javier, what yeah. is, what is your future perspective? The endoscopy is very suit well with some sort of the technology advance and navigation, robot, and the argument reality. What do you think about endofusion future? Yeah, uh, I think this, this endoscopy is moving very fast. Mm -hmm. And we published, for example, the association of biportal endoscopy with uh, intraoperative navigation before. So we can use a lot of technologies and apply in the endoscopy technique to improve the technique to make more safe for the patient. So yeah, we have navigation, robotics, augmented reality to perform better procedures and more safer procedures for the people. So I think yeah, technology, enabling technologies for endoscopy, yeah. Okay, everybody, thank you very much. Uh, I actually have to confess in my only career with the full endoscope, I just treated the simple discarnation, right? It's already past, past has been past, right? Now with the great uh, endoscopic technical, mm, surgical uh, technology advancement, we are facing the big error. Uh, but I think we need to uh, get some more the scientific data, right? Or so. But anyway, at the moment, I, I guess the for better outcome for endoscopic fusion surgery, we need to some add on the as you mentioned the expansion or multi-direction on the expansion of case and 3D printing and some sort of the technical uh, add-on with the uh, navigation robot. And I think my personal uh, gut feeling about that. The so multi-dimensional expansion in a body cage will be the final piece of the grand picture. That, that is one of the, the solution at the moment, the big solution. We don't know the future, but we need to embrace uh, that kind of the solution for the patient outcome. That's my the final yeah, message. So appreciate Don and Pa for your excellent talk and discussion. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you.